It's time. Time to go down the stairs. Time to play Moralundra. I have to admit this goes down a lot farther than I thought it would. Now, what's at the bottom? Ronan, there he is. And, and hey, that statue! That's Melzus! Why, Ronan, why? Lundra, I'm a silent protagonist. I didn't say anything. What do you mean, we? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the one fighting the gods. Well, that was an eventful day. That's a good question voice in my head. Come on, get up, Alundra. Hey. I hear the sound of creating. Jess? A thing! The Power Glove. Jess just gave me... The power glove. No, no one died. No one died, Jess. It's okay. Everybody's still alive. Hi, Septimus. God damn it. Sybil, she was the one with the dreams and the visions and the... Why? Why? How has this happened? And... Unlike other Sybils, this one could not be saved. Why Sybil? Why did it have to be Sybil? I liked her. She's dead. This is her house. Sorry. She didn't die from a nightmare, though. Someone killed her. She was murdered. Who could have killed her, though? Maybe it was somebody affected by a nightmare? Like Klein? Well, let's, let's go to the cemetery. See how the people are doing there. Hey, guys! I think that's Sybil's mom. I, I really don't know what this is. I, I don't know if this is psychic abilities of Alundra or, or what this is. But we're seeing this scene, so that's fun. And yeah, there's Sybil. Wow, that's uh, pretty sad. How very sad. 
And do I have to talk to all of them really now? <laughs> yes, yes. I say this because now as I try to leave, again, he's going to talk to me and say the same exact thing, so why do I have to talk to him twice? Okay, fine, get out of here. You just wasted a bunch of my time with your stupid words that I already knew that you had to say twice. Really, Septimus? Really? Like we just broke in, we, we did a breaking and entering on a, a chapel just to get last night, and now you are asking me to break into somebody's dream. Really, Septimus? It's so sad. Oh, Sierra, you were such a good gaming company. I miss you. Oh, and right, Sybil is dead and stuff. That's that's pretty sad too, I guess. All these graves... They're here now. They were not here before. Everybody's just dropping like flies. The village was full of people and now so many of them are dead. Well, let's go invade some people's dreams. I think that'll that'll cheer me up. Invading people's dreams for no real reason. Probably not suffering a nightmare, but you know, whatever. Let's just just enter her dreams. I never trusted Maya in the first place. Oh, great. Septimus, help. There's an old lady in front of the door. I don't think I can take her. Can you help? Good plan, Septimus. Can I talk to you, Mira? Just over there? Just in the bushes? Yeah, just, just take the old lady in the bushes. And she agrees to it, like someone just got murdered last night, but like, yeah, let's just go with Septimus, who's kind of creepy to begin with. Let's just go in the bushes, in private, where no one can see us. That's great. It's fine. Good call, old lady. Actually, you know what? Hi, Septimus, how's, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'm great. Okay, okay. Enough screwing around, I suppose. I guess we will not screw around. Fine. Ruin all my fun. You ruin all of my fun, Septimus. You know that? Just trying to have fun. Hey, Mira! Wake up. Wake up, Mira. Wake up. I'm banging the fucking wall down right beside you. You are the deepest sleeper in the entire world, Mira. Hi, how's it going? You're asleep. Let's invade dreams! Um... It's Maya as a child, apparently. Thanks! I'm not, really. Great. She is dreaming about playing tag. We are going to play with a small child. That's, that's fantastic. She's also dreaming about treasure, which I'm definitely going to obtain next time on Let's Play Alundra.